What up peeps, here we are again, uh, vlog three. So as many of you are like I am, this is week four of the lockdown. And to be fair, it is kind of messing with my head a little bit. I still go out every day for an exercise. I, I take the dog for a walk for an hour or so, that sort of thing. And also go shopping once a week for myself and also my father who's not allowed out um, but being told we can't go out is a lot more different than not wanting to go out I don't know whether it's something to do with our psyche or something but when we're told not to do something we really want to do it not probably helped by the fact that it's been the last three weeks have been glorious sunshine and a bank holiday to boot as well so I would have been socializing not going for a drink with my friends or out about going to the cinema that sort of thing but uh, you know we're stuck inside uh, I feel your pain, uh, but we have to do, make the best of it at the moment in time, so, you know, chill up folks. Hopefully it'll get a bit better soon. I've done another successful screen print this week as well. Uh, test number two, a different colour. Ooh, I know, it's blue. Uh, I will put a picture up somewhere on the screen to show you. Um, I've not got it with me here, it's actually on the shelf somewhere. Uh, it's just a simple one again. Um, I have got some more complicated designs, but, you know, Start small, start with the simple big blocky things first and then work your way up to the fine detail ones. Hopefully it will work anyway. I've solved a little issue I had with the first one which was I forgot to use a screen tag to stick it down onto the, the platen. So when I lifted the print off, uh, the shirt came with it and it gave it a, a not uncool looking textured look but it wasn't what I was going for. So uh, this time I squirted my squirty stuff. Mm -hmm and stuck it down and then screen printed it and it was perfectly fine so that's that problem solved um, I know where I went wrong there so I won't do that again unless I want some sort of weird sort of textury type thing uh, I've been working on more designs again this week um, I'm quite, quite focusing at the moment on like 50s like almost pop art um, apocalyptic type designs I think they're pretty cool actually um, if you've ever played the Fallout range of games and things like that, like Nuka Cola and things like that I think that looks really cool. Um, whether you guys do, I don't know, but <laughs> um, that's what some of my designs have been this week. Uh, if I've completed them all, or some of them, I'll put them up on the screen so you can have a look. Um, I've got some other ones as well, so I'll put those up so you can check them out. Um, hopefully, they'll be online soon for you to actually peruse at your own, own leisure. Whilst doing my uh, second screen print test this week, I actually had a little bit of an accident and I blew a seal. Boing! No, you dirty buggers, not like that. On the pressure washer, the O-ring that goes from the wand to the uh, pressure washer itself blew out, so uh, I accidentally soaked myself from the crotch downwards. Um, I think I've got a picture here somewhere. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Um, before you ask, no, they're not pink shoes. They're very faded purple. <laughs> Um, I get asked questions a lot. No, they're not pink trainers. I, I don't mind pink trainers, but I wanted purple shoes. Unfortunately, these Nikes uh, seem to have faded very quickly. Um, I might have to buy some suede dye and recolor them again. I don't know, like multicolors. I, mean, I don't know. All sort of like that. I'll, if I do that as a project, I'll film it and put it on one of the vlogs or a, a snippet to see how, I, how it comes out. As usual on this channel, um, I'll do some cooking videos for snack ideas whilst you're gaming and things like that. Quick and easy meals you can make whilst in between lobbies or just before or after, or even when entertaining friends. If that ever happens again on like old fashioned na LAN network parties. Um, I'm not entirely sure the younger generation will know what I mean there, but um, us older gamers used to have to do that all the time. Put your PC and monitor and everything into your car, drive to your friend's house, take it all out again, build it up, connect it via network cable, have one main server and then try and play a network game. That was before we had broadband and things like that. Um, well, you could try on dial-up, but I think it was like 28k modems back then, so they were a nightmare. So uh, yes, that's what a LAN network gaming session used to be. I suppose it's kind of retro now to do that. At least you get to socialise face-to-face as opposed to camera-to-camera. -camera. So if you want to try it, have a go at it. It's actually good fun. Get a few bevs when the lockdown is obviously gone and we're allowed out again to the public. Get a few bevs, go around your friend's house, stay there for 24 hours 
have a massive network gaming session and, and enjoy yourselves. Speaking of gaming and gaming videos, I, I started a previous channel a few years ago, a friend of mine doing gaming videos, which for some reason now everyone's on lockdown, is getting more subs even though we're not uploaded for about four years or possibly longer. Um, but I enjoy gaming. I've always been a gamer. I, I gamed before we had anything called the internet. Um, I, I used to play on like BBC computers and things. You get what they are. Google that. That's uh, quite impressive with the massive floppy disks and things. But I will be doing some gaming videos. I, I finally managed to get War Thunder working again for the first time in about two and a half years. So I'd like to go back to that and maybe do some series like just start and grind through an entire uh, country's tanks and aircraft. Start at the, the reserves and work your way through tier one, two and three, all the way up. Um, because I refuse to buy imaginary money with real money to buy imaginary tanks with real money with fake money so it will be a grind but it will make a good series I hope um, hopefully my commentary will be more than entertaining keep you, keep you occupied with it whilst very badly losing games probably but yeah that's one of the, the series I'm thinking of War Thunder I was also thinking about doing a Subnautica uh, like a, almost like a voiceover type comedy sketch using Subnautica and on how comedically I would react in that situation of being stranded on an alien planet. And I'm pretty sure quite a lot of us would be the same way that we would not be happy <laughs> and just go around scanning things and diving and looking at alien species. But I'm writing a script for it now so we'll, we'll see how that comes out and see if I can get that filmed and edited quickly enough to put it on the, on the uh, channel. Uh, I've also got the finger things for that. I don't want to be my hands. Shall I hold a cup? Mm. Um, yes, uh, it's also a, a game I've recently got for uh, building a zoo. It's uh, Zoo Planet. Uh, I've not really played it much, I've played the tutorial and that's about it, so I might do a series on that. It's kind of like SimCity but with a zoo. Uh, no, no, it, it was a gift, that's all I can say. But if I can make a video out of it, I will do. hopefully you'll enjoy watching it, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Another idea for a gaming video series is um, famous games, that really popular games that I've not actually played. Obviously I know all about them, but I, I've never actually played them. Things like Dota 2. I've seen it, I've played it on a friend's computer once or twice, I've never actually got into it. But it's obviously a very, very busy, busy, busy? It's obviously a very big and popular game. So I thought about doing a series about starting that and see if I'm any good. I don't think I'll be world class competition good, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Also, uh, recently got an email off Steam saying that Fallout 76 is now available to buy on Steam. I probably won't be doing that because it's terrible. I've watched lots of reviews on it and lots of gameplays on it, and it looks terrible, which is a shame because I love the Fallout series. It's so much fun. Tongue in cheek, apocalyptic war zone, strange creatures that jump out of the ground and kill you. What's not the what? Metal power armor. I mean, come on. You can play it being Iron Man whilst crushing like ghouls' heads and things. So I thought about going back to the last decent one, which was Fallout 4, I think. So maybe I'll do a series in that. Maybe a Twin Cheek series, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've not even written the script for that. I've written some ideas down, but nothing script-wise. So that's uh, that's it. that's on the project side of things at the moment. But uh, keep an eye out for it. I'll let you know if it does come out. And we're coming back to the same topic again. Lockdown. I've got uh, probably five or six scripts of comedy shorts and short videos that I'd like to film outside with other people, if, if other people will let me film them. People are quite strange about going in front of the camera, even today, when obviously the cameras are always here. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to look into that. Obviously, we've got, nothing can happen until lockdown's over and we're allowed to like be in public with people again. So, But, uh, yeah, a few comedy scripts a few less comedy, more meaningful scripts, if that makes sense. It's very hard to describe, but you'll have to watch them when I've filmed them and edited them, so that you can understand what I'm all about. But it's all gaming related because, you know, nerd. I also had a really good series planned gaming-wise for World of Warships. I used to really love that game, play it loads and loads and loads. But after about, what was the update, about two years ago? Stopped working on my old computer, reinstalled it on the new computer, 
still doesn't work. It goes through the launcher, crashes. I've tried every fix under the sun that's suggested online, apart from one which is reinstall my operating system and stop scratch. And I'll be damned if I'm reinstalling Windows and everything else just to play one game. Hopefully a patch will come out and it will help with that, but I have some really good series planned for that as well. It's a shame, but you know, you have to adapt to move on, so yeah. Another thing that's come to my attention that's putting videos on YouTube, production value. Um, at the moment I'm using a small vlogging setup here and I'm using a portable camera. I'm using my phone quite a bit for camera and things like that. But it's not bad. I, I do have a DSLR that I could use for a main camera, but it's a lot more hassle. Um, getting the right lenses and setups and ISOs and things like that. It's all things that you learn whilst shooting photos you have to also apply that to shooting videos and it's a lot more set up and hassle and, and I've got time frames I've got to work to and things so yeah I might try obviously the more I practice the quicker I'll be at it but I'm gonna probably use that I might try and use that for the vlogs soon as well um, once I get a stand that I can stand it on and talk into but yeah you know um, I wanted to improve my production value because it makes it better for you to look at and uh, it makes me happier <laughs> if that makes sense to videographers out there I'm, I'm more happy when the video looks better obviously so I've also had some cracking ideas which are very expensive and can't be done at the moment uh, there's a couple of um, like tours I'd like to do um, with behind the scenes maybe giveaways and things like that but gaming related so I thought perhaps if I can like maybe on Patreon or crowdfunded if anyone out there wants to help out in the future that is, I mean, obviously you'll get, you'll get stuff back in return, but I thought about um, gaming related road trips, if that makes sense, filming road trips, like, one of the big games from, I think it was the late 80s, early 90s, uh, I remember it, um, Oregon Trail, it was a huge game, made very popular in pop culture these days, because us nerds write pop culture, and us nerds watch pop culture, <laughs> so, um, so I thought about maybe getting a, I don't know, four before camper or something like that and driving the Oregon Trail and seeing if I can find all the spots that were in the game in real life. I don't know if anyone will be interested in watching that, but um, I'd be interested in making it. It'd be a bit expensive, very expensive, and I'd obviously need a couple of people to come with me as well. But my friends can get that sort of time off work because obviously no one's going to be uh, getting any time off work when we all go back because they've all had, you know, had months off. So, But that sort of thing's in the pipe work. I'd also like to do maybe uh, how a, quick, a trip across America uh, in a Winnebago or whatever um, from coast to coast to try and go to Comic Con and film there. I don't know where that would be. But perhaps we could raise some money for charity doing that. Um, uh, try and drive across America in like a week or something like that. Again, you need a lot of people for that. And also, shift driving patterns and all oh, that, but it'd be fun. It might be interesting to watch, uh, it might be boring to watch, I don't know. I don't, I've thought about it, but obviously I need, it only a lot of planning and a lot of money. So that's if I can get a successful business going and, and some decent viewage and things like that, maybe I can, I can organize that sort of thing as well. So stay tuned for that. Live streaming. Now live streaming is something I've thought about, but only recently has my house been able to have High speed broadband. Uh, at one point, the best I could get some meg down, and I think 0.2 of a meg up, which you can't stream with that. Now I've got what to do. I've got uh, super fast broadband. Yay! So I can actually stream if I want to. Um, streaming needs to be regimented though, and uh, at this moment in time, that's fairly easy to do because we're stuck inside four walls. But in the future, whether we can actually sort out a, a, a streaming schedule so I can stream games or maybe vlogs or maybe um, podcasts, that sort of thing, we stream those live to like Twitch or YouTube Live and things like that. So, yeah, that's, that's something I'm thinking about for the future. Um, again, not just me on my own because, well, vlogs will be me on my own mainly, obviously, behind the scenes won't be, but. Um, streaming more fun with more people so uh, I'll see if I can get a few friends to, to sign up you never know if it takes off if they might be able to join me doing uh, YouTube and uh, Twitch for a bit so good hope
and that's it that's uh, vlog three that's uh, my thoughts and feelings for the week mm -hmm. don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below if you have something you want to ask me i can answer it in my next vlog uh if there's something you suggest filming wise or something you'd like to see let me know in the comment section uh, i'll try and reply to you as soon as i can um don't forget also to check out our social media pages uh we have twitter and instagram um facebook soon i'm working on that that's going to be more design and clothing orientated but hopefully put some videos and things like that on there as well so don't forget to like this video get a thumbs up here if you liked it and want to see more um get a thumbs down if you didn't like it um i can and it helps me figure out what people do and don't like to watch on youtube um yeah don't forget to uh, sub up as well because uh, i could do with those subs who couldn't everyone could do with subs it helps uh, also, I need a thousand subs to uh, get anywhere near to actually earning any money doing this and everyone needs a bit of moolah. Thanks for watching peeps as always. Um, don't forget to check out all the videos on our channel. Uh, cooking, soon to be gaming and everything else. So don't forget to check those out. Uh, ring the notification bell when you sub up so you'll be told when I've got new videos go up. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Stay safe out there.